How's everyone doing today? Welcome back to the GSMC Chip Shot Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. I'm your host, Manny Mardiege, as always, and on today's show, we're going to talk about some more breaking news that happened today this morning regarding some more trades in the wide receiver market. Obviously, the biggest news, DeAndre Hopkins being traded to the Kansas City Chiefs. We're going to talk about that, break that down, and how much that really helps Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Also, we're going to talk about the speculation about the Los Angeles Rams potentially trading their wide receiver, Cooper Cub. There's been some more growing news in that regard, and it looks like the Rams are willing to trade their star wide receiver, and we're going to get into that as well. Plus some more things down the line, like Tua possibly being set to return this upcoming week against the Arizona Cardinals, plus some more later on in the show, so stick around to watch that. But before we do get started, I'd like to remind you guys, as I always do, if you have any questions or comments or just want to get involved with the show in any way you can, we always want to hear about it. Don't hesitate to drop any of those things in the chat. And now, if you do want to be part of the show and want to make it absolutely sure that your message stands out, you can feature on the show now by using the new Super Chat feature that we have available to you guys. Just by clicking the dollar sign at the bottom of the chat box to send in your Super Chat, this way it guarantees that your message gets on the air and it's also a fantastic way to support our channel. So we rely on your support to keep bringing you the sports content you love and we always appreciate it when you guys are able to do that for us. So go ahead, let us know what you're thinking and hit the Super Chat button and let's keep this show as interactive and as exciting as possible. We always thank you guys for getting involved. It always makes the show better and just hearing what you guys have to say on any topic really is always uh, a great thing to see with these live shows. So that is that. But moving on now to the biggest piece of news that just hit this morning. Uh, I was just barely waking up when I saw this news. And um, yeah, it threw everything off because, you know, this morning the uh, ESPN broke the news, ESPN's Adam Schefter, that the Chiefs and the Tennessee Titans were finalizing a deal to trade for DeAndre Hopkins, Kansas City, seemingly finds their replacement for their misfortunes that they've had so far at the wide receiver position. Uh, Rasheed Rice got hurt, uh, knee injury, severe knee injury. Hollywood Brown, a pretty severe shoulder injury as well. Um, So the the, the Chiefs haven't looked as much as themselves as they have, obviously. And Andre, um, welcome to the show. I'm shocked by this cup news. It kind of makes sense though he's been super unreliable recently, and although if he goes uh, to the right team, he 100% boosts their chances at a deep playoff run. Yeah, um, I mean, I wouldn't disagree with any of that. Um, You know, Cooper Cup, I I was pretty surprised by it too, and I'm going to talk about it more in the uh, the next segment, but yeah, I mean, the, the injuries do scare me if I am, you know, somebody else trying to trade for Cooper Cup, and also a second round pick knowing all those circumstances is a little bit steep for me, but something could potentially change that asking price that uh, I will get into. But yeah, I mean, if he goes to the right spot and he's able to stay healthy, I can see him. I mean, if he goes to, uh, I'm kind of blanking on who needs a wide receiver right now, like desperately. Uh, I don't want to say the the Steelers because I'm a Steelers fan and uh, I'm probably the only Steelers fan that you would hear say that, but I don't know, it just, it would feel too surreal, honestly. I, I wouldn't be able to believe it, but yeah, I mean, Cooper Cup, great player overall, and, um, you know, unfortunate that he hurt his ankle so early on, because he was, he was balling out the first two weeks, and it was, um, it, it was really looking like it was going to shape out to be another crazy year, but l- those injuries popped up again, but um, yeah, that'll be more in the next segment, but sticking to uh, DeAndre Hopkins, right? Immediate replacement for what the Chiefs are looking for. Also, Juju Smith-Schuster, who they had come in as a potential replacement, he also got hurt as well. And he's already been ruled out for this upcoming week. So the the wide receiver options for this Chiefs team were getting a little low. And plus, Isaiah Pacheco is also probably out for the entire year. Not a wide receiver, but still it's one less X-factor kind of player that the Chiefs have that they're, that they're usually accustomed to having right and then for all those guys to just be wiped out it it has looked rough it has looked ugly but what's ironic and funny about this entire thing is that they're the only undefeated team and they just went out and 
you know, traded for DeAndre Hopkins, who is 32 years old. He is on the final year of his two-year contract that he signed with the Tennessee Titans last offseason, and he became a serious trade candidate over the last couple weeks because of that contract. You know, you don't have to be attached to him long term because that contract is up. 32 also, you know, the older receivers, the older players are always trade candidates and also the fact that the Titans are 1 and 5 right now. So, you know, it doesn't look like they're going to go anywhere just from the record alone and that could tell a different story, but if you watch them play, you know, Will Levis hasn't really been there. You're it doesn't look like they're going to get any better obviously with Mason Rudolph, you know, going in there and playing. So, the Titans were in a tough spot for for Hopkins that needs to get the most, you know, production out of himself with these uh older years now in the NFL so those rumors now come into fruition and it looks like he's going to be going to the Kansas City Chiefs the Chiefs are expected to send a fifth round pick over to the Titans that could become a fourth round pick through um through some circumstances that wasn't really specified but they could get a conditional fourth round pick out of this and now DeAndre Hopkins becomes the third wide receiver over the last eight days to be traded with the November 5th deadline quickly approaching in um, less than, what's today, the the 23rd? Less than, less than two weeks now. So that's something else to watch out for. These trades are probably going to start flying off the board, like we mentioned with Cub. Maybe other guys like Deontay Johnson or Mike Williams is still out there. Travis Etienne is an interesting one. All these guys... Um, after this week, I'm sure are going to start ramping up these these trade talks. But um, DeAndre Hopkins, so far, you know, you might look at these numbers: 15 receptions, 173 yards, and only one touchdown. Not really that impressive. Like the Chiefs could desperately need someone putting up these numbers, but I feel like that has more to do with just Will Levis and the Titans overall as a as an offense haven't really clicked anything into gear thus far and. Hopkins, I feel like, is too good to just be in Tennessee where their season is pretty much already over. So I love this move for Hopkins. And, you know, now quarterback-wise also, like I just mentioned with Will Levis and what Hopkins had to to go through there, quarterback-wise, night and day, right? Complete ends, different ends of the spectrum with going from Will Levis on one end to immediately jumping all the way to the top with Patrick throwing you the ball must be surreal, unquestionably, the best quarterback DeAndre Hopkins has ever had, and he's probably had arguably one of the, he probably has the largest roster of quarterbacks that he's played with, arguably, in just his entire career, so right now, with Patrick, easily the best quarterback he's ever had throwing him the ball, and, you know, for for DeAndre to fit into this offense, it's it's not like DeAndre's going out there routing anybody up or blowing by people anymore, um, and that might be a reason for some people to not be so overly excited about him. But I, I really believe that alongside Travis, alongside this Chiefs team that has really kind of molded himself itself now into more of a run-heavy, defensive-heavy based team that they don't need DeAndre to go out there and average like 8 to 10 catches per game or finish with over 1,200 yards or something like that. They don't really need that. And they're doing just fine because, like I said, um, they need a wide receiver, it seems like, but they're the only undefeated team so far. So, you know, by one, you know, way you could think of it, they don't really need anybody because they haven't lost yet. Or just by watching their games, you could see that Patrick has looked more uncomfortable and um, he's thrown more interceptions than passing touchdowns thus far. And all through that, all through the Chiefs really not playing efficient, clean football, they're still 6-0. to So adding a guy like Hopkins... And depending on how quickly he learns the the playbook and everything like that, it's going to take a week or two, I, I'd assume. But this is still a great move. I'm a big fan of it. I always felt like this was the, the most appropriate move for Hopkins, for the Chiefs, just because it is that short-term solution. Because Hopkins, they don't have to have him on the team next year. If they want to just let him hit free agency, they could do that with their young receivers eventually coming back. So um, it's, a, it's a win for both sides. You know, the Titans... Maybe you'd want something else back more for DeAndre Hopkins, but they would probably take anything right now. They're still a, a work in progress. So, um, Lastly here, just mentioning with this trade, now Hopkins seemingly making the the Chiefs, you know, they, it covers up their biggest blemish, right? 
Are they the favorites now, unquestionably, to win the AFC one, but also Super Bowl favorites? Uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that it puts them at number one, because I felt like they were top three anyway in terms of favorites for the Super Bowl or the conference. So um, I, I think all it really does, it just solidifies them up there. We're not going to see a huge drop where the Chiefs aren't playing well and it finally catches up to them and they just fall apart. We're not going to see that now, certainly, with Hopkins there. As long as he can stay healthy and the quicker he learns the playbook, I feel like it's almost going to be as smooth as a transition as Amari Cooper going to to the Bills, right? When you're playing with a set idea, set identity, and the type of quarterback, top two, top three quarterback, it's going to work out as long as they stay healthy. I'm 100% certain that Andy Reid is going to find a way to use DeAndre Hopkins and use him to the best of his ability. So I love the trade. Uh, I think it's a great fit for the Chiefs, and we'll see how quickly he learns it and gets up to speed starting in Week 8. I uh, against I believe they are playing um it's escaping my mind now the Chiefs are playing this week and potentially Hopkins' first game they are going to be playing the Raiders so um you know they were probably going to be favored anyway but it could be a better game overall for the Chiefs if Hopkins can you know make his mark on that game just starting off his his career there with the Chiefs so that is one trade that's one th trade that has been finalized in this next segment there's been a lot of talk about Cooper Cup and the potential of him being traded from the Los Angeles Rams and the Rams being pretty adamant about you know that possibility becoming a certainty over the next couple of weeks so how are the Rams trying to do this is it a good idea for them to start calling teams asking for who's interested in Cooper Cup I'll give my thoughts on that and more on what Cooper Cup had to say about the trade rumors when we return after our first break. <laughs> 